little guy. There he is! <gasps> oh, it works! It works! Hey guys, it's me, Savannah, and it's time for the next vlog. This vlog is going to change your life. I'm so excited about it, and I'm trying not to yell. You guys are gonna love this vlog so much. I, I can't even like, this is like, what I'm about to show you is like Nat Geo level. It's like Nat Geo Wild, it's like Discovery Channel, it's like Animal Planet, but it's all here at Gatorland. And it's all here in this vlog and I ain't gonna talk about it anymore. Let's go see what's in store. Baby hatching Nile crocodiles. Did you hear what I said? Baby hatching Nile crocodiles! You guys are gonna get to see them before even people that work here get to see them. Cause we all came in yesterday, like we all went home and then we heard the crocodiles were hatching and then we all came back and Chrissy from our animal care department was here. Thank goodness. We called each other on the phone. We got here super quick and we got here just in time so we could show you guys what it looks like when baby now crocodiles hatch out. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Check this out. You're going to love it. I'm about to blow your mind right now. Here so we Chrissy, go. tell us what's happening. We have baby Nile crocodiles. These are Delilah's eggs that we collected earlier in the season and they just started hatching today. Come check it out. See that tiny little pinhole right there? That was created by the baby crocodile that's inside. He used his egg tooth, the tiny little tooth that falls off within a couple weeks after hatching, to pierce through that eggshell. See, there's two different types of eggshell. One's just like a chicken egg, it's very brittle and it breaks. The other's like a snake egg almost. It's very leathery and it's hard to get through. So the baby uses that egg tooth to break through, but that tiny little hole is its first chance at life. <laughs> so this little guy just pipped out just as we started this video. So sometimes they hatch right out of the egg and they'll break right through. Other times it takes them a couple hours. Hatching is a very tiring process. So sometimes it takes them even hours, even overnight it takes them to hatch. Let's hatch snout first. You see that little tiny nose? Mm -hmm. That is a baby Nile crocodile. Now what Chrissy's doing right now is, is she's making a loud noise and she's calling to them it's to working. come out. Ah! <laughs> do it more, do it more. tried for five years to get that to work guys and you guys <laughs> witnessed it all working <laughs> and that's the one that was sleeping on us hi baby welcome to the world oh my goodness you're adorable look how pretty you are welcome hi babe oh there he goes oh, my little guy. welcome it's like oh my goodness this is tiring work <laughs> so cool so as you guys saw that they were coming out nose first, but they also come out upside down, <laughs> which is kind of weird. So, oh, another cool thing, at seeing that you guys don't, probably haven't seen this before, we mark all of our eggs. So that is the top of the egg. What's really cool about that and what's really important with alligators and crocodiles, the embryo attaches to the very top of the egg. Now, if that were to be rotated at any time during incubation, it could actually kill the embryo. The embryo would drown in the fluids in the egg. So it's really, really important that we keep it always upright. So that's why we mark the top of the egg so we always know which is the true side up. So that way we don't rotate it and hurt the egg in any way. So that's why all of these are marked up on the very top. But whenever they hatch out, they hatch out upside down, which is kind of funny. Are these crocodiles? Yes, they are. These are a baby Nile crocodiles. And crocodile nesting season and hatching season is a little bit earlier than alligators. So it's kind of cool. What's the temperature they have to be? So incubation temperature for these guys is usually around 88 degrees, but the Nile crocodiles are pretty special because even up to 93 is a safe temperature for the Nile crocodile. So they're pretty special. Because what do you guys think? Is that awesome? Yeah. You guys are here at exactly the right time. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I think their ears are really fascinating when they first come out of the egg because they're listening for their brothers and sisters. Did you see where those little ear flaps go? Oh, yes. That's so cute. Yeah, these guys are really cool because a lot of people don't think they have ears, but if you look at the back of his head, his ear flaps are actually going like she was talking about, listening for the brothers and sisters. But see how that guy hatched out so quickly where his little brother or sister is still sitting inside of their egg. That's what we were talking about, how some hatch out really, really fast and the others just take their time. This is so great. You guys out there in YouTube world, you are getting to see these baby Nile crocodiles come out and take their first breath. They're so cute. 
You're gonna be just as fierce as your parents. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh. Oh, he's oh my you. goodness. Oh my goodness. You got a lot of fight already. He's so cute. So I wanted to show you guys something really, really cool. How these guys get their nutrients while they're in the egg. They have an umbilical cord on their belly that attaches to the egg, and that's how they get their nutrition while they're in the egg. Now this little guy here, he still has a little bit of a little pot belly, and that actually is just a yolk and that will absorb over time, and that's what's gonna feed him for the first couple weeks of life as he learns to be a baby crocodile, and in the wild it helps him so that way he can learn to hunt and stuff like that, and still have a little bit of a backup. He also has a really nice fat storage here on his tail that he'll feed off of for the next couple weeks. So. Oh my gosh, they're so teeny. And just think, that guy's gonna be like 14 feet long one day. Or even bigger than that, maybe. And he just broke through. <laughs> what do That's you guys amazing. think about that? It's oh, cool. So, yeah. Oh, look at him go, look at him go. He's going, he's going. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. And so these guys, <laughs> They're so, so tiny and so cute. So these guys, <laughs> if you guys ever watch documentaries on Africa and the crocodiles that live in the waterways over there, that eat the wildebeest and the zebra, that's this type of crocodile. So this tiny itty bitty little baby grows up to be that fierce of a predator. They don't look so terrifying right now. They're actually quite adorable, but they do grow up to be quite fierce. These guys are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is, is so my favorite great. time of year. Oh my goodness. This is and then they're starting to, as you see, they're climbing all over the other eggs and stuff, and that kind of tells the siblings that, hey, it's time to hatch. And then also their little pipping, their little ow, ow, ow noises, that also tells the other baby crocodiles in their eggs that, hey guys, it's time to come out. Oh, 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 another one, another what? little guy. Hi, babies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how cute. You guys are so cute. Look at you go. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. There you are. You heard me calling. Hey, babe, come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, I know it's a lot of work. You got it. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. You too, little guy. You're doing good. Oh, my goodness, guys. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, there he is. Hi, babe. Come on, little guy. Hi. You need to make your hole bigger in your egg. You're too big. Come on. You got it. You can help him out. There he is. He's too big for the hole in his egg. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Look at you go. Oh. Oh, oh. mouth open. Teeth showing. You're so fierce. So these guys actually hatch out with all of their teeth. A lot of people think that, oh, they don't have any teeth at this size. They definitely do. These guys hatch out pretty much miniature versions of the adults. Adults have plenty of teeth. Ow. Ow. Look how pretty you are. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. Hi, babe. Welcome to the world. How's that for the most amazing thing that happened in your day today? I remember the first time I ever saw baby alligators hatch out. I was so blown away. It is the most cool, most I can't even think of all the words to describe it. Baby crocodiles and baby alligators coming out of the egg is so beautiful. And I'm so glad we got to share that moment with you guys. Seriously, there are people in the park that haven't even seen the baby now crocodiles yet. They don't even know yet, but all you guys know. So do us a favor, check that like button, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too. We love sharing this stuff with you. And baby crocodiles are so cute. I mean, like seriously, if you don't like them when they're grown up, I kind of get it because they got all them teeth. But if you don't love this video and you don't love them right now, I think you're crazy. All right, love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.